So this week we're talking about a um, couple of different things relating to animal science, one of them being animal products and byproducts and also what what the production of animal products means to not only the North Carolina economy, but also to the U.S. economy. And then we're also going to cover rights and welfare as well. Um, that'll be a completely different presentation, but today we're going to talk specifically about livestock products and byproducts. And then in later videos, you will see the, the economic impact. So livestock products. Um, so ruminants and other animals, ruminants being animals that have a four compartment stomach like cattle and other animals like pigs will eat feed materials that we typically would not. And they convert them into food that humans will eat like meat, eggs, milk, anything that's related to milk, like your yogurts, your cheeses, anything like that. Those are all animal products. So these are just some examples of animal products. Um, as far as the food category goes, meat, milk, cheese, eggs, again, yogurt, ice cream, all that good stuff. Um, clothing, we also have wool from sheep and leather from cowhide specifically. Um, shelter, a lot of times, um, especially not so much in the U.S., but in other countries, um, people will build tents out of animal hide. Also power. Um, so in less developed countries where they don't necessarily have cars and trucks and tractors and all that good stuff, they use animals for their power. And then also recreation. Recreation is considered an animal product or maybe a a better way to put it would probably be a, a benefit of animal agriculture. Um, so recreation would include things like horseback riding and rodeos. Um, manures can be used as raw materials in what we call methane gas biodigesters. And a lot of times they're used, it's used for fuel in less developed countries as well. So these are just some examples of byproducts. So, for example, wool comes from um, a sheep's coat. Leather is um, animal hide, specifically cattle. Um, candy and chewing gum actually is made out of some animal fats. Um, gelatin, which would be any of your jellos or anything like that, would be, um, they're made out of horns, hooves, bones, and hides. And then um, glues, candles, certain cosmetics, waxes, soaps, lubricants, brushes, that sort of stuff. Um, that all comes from horns, hooves, bones, and hides. And then fertilizer, printer, ink, and lubricants. Some of those actually come from inedible beef fats and proteins, so the stuff that we can't necessarily eat. So this is just some pictures of some, some wool. This guy's over here shearing a sheep. All right, so some more byproducts. Um, Animal feeds. We actually take some of the inedible parts of animals, like um, specifically blood and bone meal, and we take that and we can actually make it into animal feeds to actually provide a protein source to other animals. Um, insulin. I'm going to talk about insulin a little bit more, but it is actually taken from the pancreas of animals and it's used to treat human diabetes. Um, a lot of times nowadays it's produced more through biotechnology, but um, when we first started using insulin to help treat diabetes, we actually took insulin from animals and gave it to humans. Um, heparin. Heparin is a clotting factor, and it is taken from the lungs of livestock, and it's used to help people clot who maybe have um, a thin blood issue or something like that. Um, there's other medicines that are made from animal products, um, like um, thyroid hormone, artificial thyroid hormone. Um, there's medicines to treat allergies and also respiratory diseases. And then lanolin. Lanolin is an interesting one. So it is oil that's produced by the skin of a sheep, and it is actually an ingredient in a lot of chapsticks. So if you have a chapstick, pull it out and check the ingredients and see if lanolin is on there. And it's actually that oil that the sheep skin produces. So insulin. Insulin is a way of treating diabetes. Um, it was originally produced from livestock pancreas at one point in time, but today, um, really, we produce it um, 
through biotechnology, we don't use it out of animals as much anymore. Still possible, though. All right, the importance of animal agriculture will actually be the next video that you'll watch.